Hello Capricorns and welcome to your horoscope for the upcoming month, December 2023. If you are new here, welcome. And if you are a returning viewer, welcome back and thank you for joining me today. So here today I'm going to look at the main astrological events happening in December. I'll tell you how they will influence your rising sign, also called the ascendant sign. You can also watch for your moon sign or your sun sign if you wish. But always prioritize your rising sign in all the horoscopes on this channel. This is Western Astrology Tropical Zodiac. And here we start with Venus moving into Scorpio. And here Venus in Scorpio, that's your 11th house. So actually, even though Venus in Scorpio is not the strongest, but here in the 11th house, you get this lovely boost when it comes to your friendship circle social activity. Venus in the 11th house can create lots of opportunities for socializing, for getting yourself out there, for participating in um, social events uh, of any type. But with that in mind here, since Venus is the planet of romance and love, it's um, often easier to attract um, romance when you participate in large events or if you go to a concert or a festival of some sort, or generally if you engage in social activities. Now here with Venus, it's all about harmony, balance, lots of feminine energy as well. So you might find yourself working with other females on some specific projects. It's also connected here to you wanting to work on your goals and plans, especially since this is this is the final month of the year. So it's a great time for creating that vision map for setting new intentions, goals, and objectives for the upcoming year. So this is an influence uh, of that will last until the 30th, 31st of December. Now on the 6th, Neptune will station direct at 24 degrees of Pisces here. Pisces, this is your third house that deals with your mental, um, well, mental activity mental stimulation, your uh, rational mind thinking, communication, short distance travel. When Neptune regains its strength here, all the traits connected to Neptune suddenly become alive. And this is, of course, this is fantasy, poetry, music. So this is actually very positive when it comes to um, cr that creative side of psyche, because it's... Um, becomes awake and activated so a great time for being creative for um, writing uh, blogging for doing artistic things so it's all about making sure that everything is clear that you know where you stand with whatever that you're dealing with with conversation when it comes to conversations exchange of emails social interactions as well Watch out for any scammers or people trying to persuade you to buy something, to um, sign up for a certain membership. If you're not sure, then perhaps um, think about it. Don't act on impulse. And on the 12th, we've got a new moon in Sagittarius at 20 degrees. And here a new moon is about a brand new cycle here. A new cycle in Sagittarius, your 12th house the house of spirituality and the house of hidden matters, private life. Um, yes, your private life is emphasized here as well. You're sleeping your routine. So you might be establishing a new sleeping routine. You could be setting uh, yourself new goals for improving your um, life in general, but also this is connected to perhaps um, you wanting to perhaps learn about yourself on a deeper level. So this could be about purchasing uh, self-help, self-study books of any type connected to astrology, psychology, psychology, for example, numerology. This is also when you might begin yoga and meditation. And this is also connected to volunteering, charity work, but also connected to working from behind the scenes on a specific goal, project, idea. So all these influences here connected to hidden matters, private life are very much highlighted throughout the duration of this transit. So here, We've got uh, the day after this um, new moon is exact. We've got Mercury stationing retrograde at eight degrees of Capricorn here. And this retrograde will end on the 1st of January, 2024. The pre-shadow period starts on the 25th of November. It ends on the 21st of 
January. So it starts in Capricorn, it ends in Sagittarius. So here, overall, with Mercury in your first house throughout December, this really, truly helps with expressing yourself with more ease. There is this need to express your thoughts, your ideas, opinions without holding on to them for too long but at the same time here when mercury is retrograde this is when you will be reviewing your goals your your objectives your your physical appearance might come into light as well it's not a good uh, time to have a major uh, makeover something very very different to the usual because you might be dissatisfied with the outcomes it's better to stick to the familiar to what you know at the same time you could be returning to some goals projects you are left unfinished unresolved in the past it's also a very common theme to reconnect with people we haven't spoken to for quite some time it's all about also it's a really really good time for reviewing your uh, goals and your past achievements so that you can prepare better for the upcoming 12 months because here we've got a new year just uh, around the corner and a new year always offers this amazing opportunity for new goals new objectives for a very fresh fresh start so this mercury retrograde will be a great opportunity for gaining this true understanding into what is it that you want to do and achieve in the upcoming 12 months of your life right whether this is your career that you want to change or perhaps we want, you want to start a new course of study or perhaps if you're thinking about moving relocating which could be very much the case here with the eclipses activating your along with the nodes your fourth and the tenth house so you could be also contemplating uh, investing your money in a property in the upcoming year so it's a great retrograde for truly truly get, get, um, going down deep into to your goals and objectives that you would like to achieve or get closer to in the upcoming year now on um December the 26th, we've got a full moon in Cancer on the other hand in your seven house. So here, you want to want relationships, connections come into light. A full moon is about releasing, but of, often also with a full moon when the moon is fully illuminated. This is when we gain a full clarity of a situation that uh, perhaps uh, seemed slightly unclear before. So here, full moon in the seven houses could be about the completion of a certain project, contract, for example. This could be also about having some new, um, strong realizations connected to your partnership or your relationship. So you might find yourself having some really deep and profound conversations regarding the dynamics of your relationship partnership. Here, this could be very much connected to a, a completion of a contract, perhaps you're starting a new role um, in 2024, or perhaps you're thinking about resigning as well. Now, pay attention when it comes to signing any important documents around this time, because uh, Mercury will be retrograde. So it's always important to read everything really carefully before you sign anything truly significant that could change the course of your life. But here, the one, con one connections are very much highlighted. This could be also about moving your relationship into the next stage, into the next level here. Perhaps you'll be um, here growing and developing a new connection. If you're single, then this full moon could really make you truly think about... Um, how you can attract love into your life. What can you do to change um, your status or perhaps uh, your approach to commitment relationship could slightly change as well. And perhaps you'll be implementing some um, new ideas or new attitudes towards um, commitment, for example. Now, on December the 30th, Jupiter was stationed direct at five degrees of Taurus. And this is your fifth house. Jupiter moving in a forward motion. This is also always a good, um, a good time for engaging in activities that um, increase that sense of um, satisfaction life fulfillment you've got taurus here a fixed earth sign which uh, is connected to the 
sensual aspects of life, but also it's connected to enjoying the simple pleasures of life. So here you've got this forward momentum when it comes to your own business, when it comes to your interests, your hobbies. And it's a, we've got four and a half months here in Janu- um, in 2024, starting from January um, 30th of December, to be more exact. And you can achieve so much here. It's all about these expansive ideas, opportunities that could really enlighten you in many ways. So new hobbies or interests, or perhaps uh, this opportunity to heal, um, heal yourself or heal any misconceptions you may have about yourself so that you can express yourself more freely because this can also have an impact have an impact upon your romantic side of life here jupiter can bring some opportunities as long as you engage in activities where um, you could um, feel free so i think that's the way to go as well to liberate yourself from any obstacles or from any restricting behavioral patterns or from any restricting, limiting um, themes, people that stand in the way towards that happiness. Because here with Jupiter, this could be also a time of increased romance in your life here when um, things could happen. All right, so here we go, Capricorns. Thank you very much. I wish you a pleasant month. And until the next time, bye for now.